I want to talk to you guys about Operation Twin Shells. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the channel and welcome to Rainbow Six Siege. Rainbow Six Siege is gearing up for a new operation called Operation Twin Shells, where we're getting a new operator, some major gameplay changes, and a new weapon. I'm super excited for this next operation for Siege because as a player, I fall in and out of Siege time and time again. I feel like I'm gonna become a more consistent Rainbow Six Siege player because of this upcoming operation. Operation Twin Shells is going to be bringing in binary hardening, which is going to be making improvements on the back end security things to combat against cheaters, which, by the way, Siege is notorious for cheaters. The new operator being introduced in Operation Twin Shells, guys, is a defensive operator, so don't gotta worry about another attacker being introduced. It's a new defender. We have a new defender on the team. And their gadget seems to be something to do with, like, decoy robots or something. I don't really know what it is. From what I've seen in some of the trailers that they've released for this upcoming operation in this operator it seems like that that is the gadget it seems like that there's a, a decoy robot at least two of them uh, the new weapon being introduced in operation twin shells guys looks like a new assault rifle or marksman rifle something of the sort could be either or who knows and the reason why i say that it looks like that they're gonna be decoys that can move around guys is because they released a trailer showcasing jackal being able to try track the footsteps of these robots so that leads me to believe that you're gonna be able to like send them out and they'll move around either with you sort of like how mirage moves in apex legends with his holograms where you send it out and as you move it moves with you Uh, that's a nice little fork. Also, guys, in the next operation, we're getting a Solus Part 2 update, a Nook update, and a Dokubi update. By the way, the Dokubi update, from what I've heard, is gonna make Dokubi work as similarly as Deimos. She's gonna get more calls, but she has to select who to call. It's not gonna just be an across the board, everyone's phone starts ringing type deal. As for Nook and the Solus Part 2 update, I have no idea what they're gonna do with that. None at all. Also, guys, in the next operation, they're gonna be adding a new lane to the shooting range, which is gonna have cover that the bots will peek out of, so you can better align your crosshair placement on, well cover and while we're on the topic of the shooting range you're going to be able to access the shooting range while finding games which is super nice you're going to be able to keep that aim warm also coming within next season guys is a siege cup beta where i think you're going to be able to compete in in-game tournaments and stuff whenever those happen and also they're adding a badge system i don't know if it's going to be similar to overwatch getting new ways to show off your prestige as an operator Jesus, that was a nice peek.
Damn. Jesus, dude, I'm locked. I'm locked, bro, your ass! Oh my god! Alright, guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good day, everyone.